fucking YouTube demonetizing the channel, but they still run fucking adverts on the live show, bastards. No, it's it's not Mysterious Live, it's currently untitled. I should actually be doing these on a Saturday, but I keep fucking too damn busy for it. How's the camera looking? Yeah, it's looking alright. I only see the vaping with Vic. <laughs> <coughs> Very true, if you, if you use Adblock, you don't see them. Right, let's do that. I need to drag that over there. What the fuck's going on here? Pop out chat, drag that over there. And then, oh, here we go. Let's see if I can drag this over without without this fucking thing crashing. Oh, it didn't crash. Cool. There we go. I'm not too close to the camera, am I? Hi. <clears throat> Evening, everyone. TC, how are you doing? Scuba, seen you popped up in chat there for a minute. Yeah, I thought I thought I'd go live. I've just spent fuck it. I've just spent an an, an hour and a half trolling through all the fucking emails that I've got. My head's wasted. Oh, fucking, it was about something like 230-odd emails. Something like that. 230-odd emails, and about 100 of them was all about fucking podcasts. See, fucking seriously. How many fucking podcasts is too fucking many? Jesus Christ. <coughs> Cherub, how you doing? Gailey Bops. I seen Zan was in there as well. How you doing, Zan? Colette, I seen Colette popped up too. Vape don't smoke. How you doing, Paul? Let's move that there. Move that there. What did you get for Prime Day? Never got a damn thing, Ben. To be honest, nothing nothing took my fancy for the Prime Day. Hello, Gramps. How you doing, Mike? <laughs> so here's the thing, Mike. <coughs> everyone's probably everyone's probably seen this, um, Everyone's probably seen the uh, the aging app that a lot of that a lot of reviewers has been messing around with. But Mike Mike's Mex reviews when you ran your picture through that app, I take it it just spat out the same picture at the end of the process. Derek, how you doing? Derek, Miko. Sorry, G's two cents, Vic, one with the live. Yeah, I seen that G two cents and um Gamers Nexus are having an overclocking thing live or something. That live show's been going on for like fucking four hours now, I think. <clears throat> nice one, Jenny. Yeah, Jenny finally got the Kelpie. That's good. That's good. I thought for a minute I got lost in the post there. Simon, I haven't been to the post office yet. I should be heading down. Should be heading down to the post office Wednesday or Thursday. One of those two days. Yes, it did actually. Oh dear, Mike. Oh dear, the aging app didn't age Mike because he's already old. <laughs> Ards Corner, how you doing? How you doing, Neil Big Dog? How you doing, Alan from Dublin? What's your thoughts on this? Oh my god, yeah, I've seen that in the news, Daniel. I like to think of it, I like to think of it as, I like to think of it a, a bit like Darwin's theory of evolution. Darwinism, that's what I like to think of it. If you're going to be stupid enough to vape something like that in an e-cig, then, yeah, you're fucking stupid. 
You're, you're, you're literally fucking stupid. Seen that all over fucking Facebook. That's going to do, that's going to do a lot for waving the flag for e-cigs in the UK. Fucking idiots. Vic, you like the gen? Yeah, I'm using it right now. Gen, Kelpie on top. I haven't put this fucking thing down since I got it. Been rotting the Kelby for a couple of weeks, thanks Vic. Yeah, it's a good tank, Rick. I'm I'm saying that of course because I designed it, so yeah. When are you gonna do this Oh that fucking thing gravity, the mock vape, that's up for review next week because they just paid for a fast track. Oh boy. Jenny Sin, it's amazing. It's like I'm trying juices for the first time. Yeah, I know, it's the flavour. It's all about the flavour. Yeah, I did, Mike. <clears throat> How you doing, Stuart Brown? How you doing, JR Biker? Thoughts on FDA in the States? It's an absolute fucking shit show, Lee. That's my thoughts on the FDA over in the States. And it'll continue to be a shit show until the FDA, until the FDA pulls their finger out the rear end and actually, actually puts in a counter argument. Uh, a counter argument to that uh, that judge bloke. So, has anyone asked to sponsor the channel with bath water? Oh, you're talking about what's her face that sold that fucking bath water for? What was it, thirty US dollars, thirty five dollars or something? And people were stupid enough to buy it. I'm gutted I got the black kelpie on Friday and then they dropped the price on Saturday. Gutted, still waiting for DHL to give it to me. Yeah, the prices are starting to drop. On the, well, the tank's been out. The tank's been out since May. I mean, there was there was a couple of uh, there was a few comments on the on the Facebook group saying, "Oh, the kelpies dropped down in price really quick." Not really, if you think about it. We had uh, we had the expo in May. Uh, on the first weekend of May, the tank was actually released in April, mid-April. That's when the Kelpie came out. The big problem was the stocking, the big problem with the Kelpie was over in the United States. But here in the UK, the tank was out since the end of April. So April, May, June, July, that's been, a, that's been three months. And RTAs do not hold their price after a two-month release. They just don't. They start dropping in price again. Hello from Cumbernauld. How you doing, Alan P? What's it called? Cumbernauld. How you getting on with the amulet, Vic? The battery life on it's a bit... Eh. It's a bit poor on the battery life, but it's a good little pod system that happens to look like a watch. Hey, Vic, you going to Sully's Vape Meet? Yes, I am, Jason. I won't be there for long, though, because something's cropped up. For that particular weekend, I'll only be there for about three hours, but I should be there. <sighs> Evening, Dave. Vic, have you started the PC moves yet? Not yet. No. Um, I'm waiting. I I am not an early adopter of PC gear, so the Ryzen the Ryzen Gen three stuff came out beginning of this month, I'm going to wait till the end of this month until the first BIOS updates get released. So that way I can get the board, update the BIOS with some, uh, update the BIOS with general fixes that Asus have brought out and then slap the chip and it's not going to be until the end of this month. Andy Croshaw, the FDA overrules judge rulings on a regular basis. A very regular basis actually. <clears throat> Evening Welsh Pete. Anything else in the market that compares to the sort squid double barrel V3? No, not really. Not for that shape anyway. Chris Burns, the stainless dropped because no one buys stainless steel tanks these days. They all buy they all buy black. They all buy black. The blacks have been selling out everywhere over in the United States. Element vapes out of stock. Uh, vapor DNA's out of stock. All the blacks went. They've got loads of stainless steels that nobody wants to buy, though. That's the problem. Nathan, yes, you should try haggis. 
Greetings from India. How are you doing, Vanith? I hope I said that name right. Three months of that cringing and saying sorry about that. Yeah, fucking screws. At least they fixed it for the second release. How you doing, Kevin from Texas? Vic, have you been to the vape shops in the hospital? Mitch, those hospitals are down south in England. It'd be like a four-hour train journey just to visit a vape shop. No thanks. How you doing, Mechmon Mike, who's from Texas? Ignore Nightbot, by the way. Nightbot's still chucking out stuff from the UK vape show. No, not that thing, Jason. That thing is fucking ugly. Yeah, you're talking about that. You're talking about that thing that, um... That thing that Digiflavor released. Good God. There, I think I am caught up with chat. Yes, I am. Are you going to release the Kelpie RDA and Rainbow Vic? Andy, maybe. Doubtful. But, you know... If EH Pro twists my arm into doing it, I probably will. How you doing, Torill? From Norway. <clears throat> Flat cap vapour. How you doing, Mr. Beckham? Yeah, the throat's starting to clear itself up now. It's slowly starting to clear itself up. Still got a little bit of a tickly cough now and again, but it's, it's getting better. Jazzy Jag. How you doing, Jazzy? Just updated my Ryzen 3. Don't you mean Ryzen 3 2? Oh, right, you've got the graphics version of the 2000 series. To Ryzen 7 2700 on the A320 motherboard. Much great, no BIOS update needed. Yeah, you generally don't need to update the BIOS. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going balls to the wall. You didn't say hi to Gail. Yes, I did. Did I know it? I can't remember. Balls, you're confusing me now. Shut up. <clears throat> uh, Topside carbon hit harder than wattage. Why the hell would you want the topside carbon to hit harder in wattage? Have you tried that thing at 200 watts? It's fucking shocking. What are you vaping there, Vic? Connor, Kelpie, uh, Vapor SO Gen. How you doing, Mark and Emma in Southport? How you doing, Ahmed, with the extremely long name? Is the Kelpie RDA single or dual? It's single, Jason. It's based off the tank. Aaron, how you doing? Having mad issues with the dead rabbit RTA. Cannot wick it to save my life. Current bill is some clouds, but that's notorious beauty taste. Tried the damn method from you, but no luck. It's wicking. It's all to do with the wicking with the dead rabbit RTA. It sounds like you've got too much wick. That's what it sounds like. Any thoughts on you, well, smartwatch? The battery life on it sucks, Jake. <clears throat> Daniel Kelly, Nicotine UK. That's where I get mines from. Vic, is there going to be an RDTA in the Kelpie line? No, because I can't stand top coiler RDTAs. Lethal coils. Cheers, Lethal. Yeah, I'm slowly getting better. Wow, that fucking chat's just skipped again. Pav G. Cheers, Pav. And yes, I am a capitalist bastard. Thank you very much. Any idea we'll be able to get that mod in the... What mod? What, this mod? It's already out, corrupt. Yeah, the Vapor SO Gen. It was released a couple of weeks ago. Just do a search in Google for Vapor SO Gen UK. There should be a couple of shops selling it by now. See, Zyko Thread Ripper is basically pointless because the Ryzen 9 3900X is actually a faster and better chip than the current generation of Threadripper. You look at the specs of the 3900X and you look at the specs of the current gen of the Threadripper, the 3900X is actually a better chip. So no, I'm not getting a Threadripper. I was tempted, but I'm not getting one. I'm doing all right, Ian. Vic, any recommendations on where to buy liquid in the UK? Best Sig Liquid. He does some really good deals in liquid. Um, best Sig Liquid. I think that's about it. Well, you've got, you've got decadent vapour, but they're a little bit pricey. There is also a... Why is my phone going nuts now? There is also, of course, the Empire Vape Co line. Uh, 
His original line is all desserts. He's got the new line that's coming out as well. But Best Sig Liquid, they've got a massive selection. And they're pretty reasonably priced. Kelpie SS and the Cold Steel 100 here. Great pairing. Yeah. Good mod, the Cold Steel 100, I'll be honest, though. I prefer the 200. I prefer the 200. That 100 for its size, it is a shockingly heavy mod. I haven't even reviewed it yet. still sitting up on the shelf. Vaping Scotsman, how you doing? Good evening from London, how you doing, mindful? Oh, here we go with the skipping chat. And I've just, I've just missed a load of fucking chat here. Did you see Paul's hardware recent build? Remember that tax right off your damn right balls. <laughs> Daniel Kelly, the trick with Nicotine UK is you check out with PayPal. You don't check out with an account. If you check out with PayPal, it'll be shipped to your personal address. Jules, how you doing? Will you be doing a Jules Kelpie, Vic? Well, let's look into that, shall we? There is going to be a dual coil Kelpie RTA. But it's not going to be until next year. I want the dripper out first. And the dripper is slated for a release at some time during September and October. So the dripper gets released at the end of September, October, November, December. Third month, the sales drop off. Then January and February, I start thinking about the Kelpie Dual Coil RTA. That'll be released sometime during February or March of next year. If it's released in March, March, April, May, we're into the middle of spring and... 2020, that's when the Kelpie mouth-to-lung tank gets released. Probably sometime during summer of 2020. Call it June 2020. June, July, August, September. We're in September of 2020. That's when the Kelpie mod gets released. And that's the Kelpie line finished. Done. Over. Just done. Uh, and then we move on to something else with the H Pro. Uh, no. No. Gail? Max are bad, Gail. Bad. Bad. No. 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 I am so going to get slapped by Gail the next time she sees me. <laughs> okay, catch up chat, catch up. My god, chat is flying. Have I got slow mode switched on? Yeah, I do. Louise Cooper, the Brunhilde is a very, very nice tank for flavour, but oh my god, it is far too big. Far too big. The tank's massive. Greetings from California. How you doing, Toxic Compass? I am not doing a Kelpie mesh. Mesh can go fuck itself, Paul. Thank you very much. Hello, Vic. Have you heard of the Dovepo Desalt Pod? Nope. Just wondering what juice you vaping on, because it looks like you're really enjoying it. I am currently vaping on this, which I am always vaping on. <laughs> Rochford Projects Black Vine, thoroughly enjoying it. Oh, Grant has got the red Asmodus Minikin too. Is it the, is it the Shine Finish Red, or is it the Matte Finish Red? I've seen two different versions of that. Cassie H, how you doing, Cassie? Andy Croshaw, cheers, Andy, for the five quid. Single or dual battery mod, Vic, what are you thinking? For the Kelpie? With the Kelpie mod? Both. I'm just going to leave that there. No, I don't have any spice in that tank, Cron. No. 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 I got asked by a customer, can I install Windows on their Mac? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> if you're going to install Windows, buy a PC. <sighs> Ronnie Cash Vapes. How you doing, Ronnie? I haven't seen you for ages. The cool man with the sunglasses who wears sunglasses all the time, even, in, even if it's in the middle of winter. That's Ronnie Cash Vapes. Dire thing, how you doing? 
What's the flavour of that Vic juice? That Vic juice? No, wrong way around. What's the flavour of that juice, Vic, and where can I buy one? It is a black currant based vape with underlying fruit and it's fucking gorgeous. You can buy it from Rochford Project. Um, R O C H F O R D, Rochford Project. Just search for them on Google. The website will pop up. Yeah, Rain, I am currently, I am currently testing that new X-Star charger. Oh my god, it charges batteries fast. Fucking super fast. But I am still worried that it's going to lessen the battery life. The life of the, the overall life of the battery, but that fucking thing charges batteries super fast. It really does. Will your RDA come in green and blue? Yes, it will, Arif. Separately, green or blue. It won't come in green and blue. Looking for a regulated tube mod, can you recommend one for me? You have got the EH Pro Mod 101 and Mod 101 Pro. You've also got the UL Soul Calibre, which is more of a locked regulated, which acts more like a mech, but it's got protection so you don't blow yourself up. Mark, how you doing? Yeehee, Chip Vic. Yeehee, Chip and Walk Kevin. This? No. Or you mean in my mod? No, it'd be too far. I'm going to stick with the EH Pro's Chip. If I'd go down the road of putting a Yeehee Chip in the Kelpie mod, it, the, the price would just be astronomically too much. I'm hitting, I'm, I'm, I'm going straight for the mainstream with the Kelpie mod. Topside single jeweler carbon. Derek, all of them. If you can only buy one, get the carbon. Vic, I have a Blitz and Voltroff 30 and 40mm Hive 28. What do you think about the Fatality 25? I have still to buy the Fatality 25. I keep fucking meaning to buy one and then I end up fucking forgetting. <clears throat> what would you say was your big break on YouTube? The video that got you noticed. It would have been the High On videos vaping heed. You know the High On videos? Those videos. That was Mother Dearest with phone problems. <sighs> Intel or AMD? AMD. <sighs> right, time to catch up with chat. And I've just jumped chat again. I probably missed a whole crap load. Was well, Rochford Project in here? I've never seen him in chat. When did he pop in? What's your number one high-end RDTA, Vic? I don't have any high-end ones, Asher. What, am I still muted? No, I'm not muted anymore. Am I? Shouldn't be. What, am I still muted? No, I'm not. I'm not muted. I unmuted myself. Rick F, I don't bother with the Amazon wish list anymore because Patreon basically pays for everything that I'm doing in the studio. There he is there. How you doing, Rochford Project? Yeah, still 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 vaping in this. Still still vaping on it. Can't put it down. Every few puffs I'm getting a mouthful of liquid, mosh head. That means you need to use more wick. You're oversaturating the coil. <sighs> yeah, I, I, me I mentioned that in last, we uh, last, last week's What's Up Joel about the CEO of Joel apologising, which basically means he was essentially admitting to Joel targeting kids in the early days. That's basically what it was doing. 
Fucking idiot. <clears throat> Thinking of picking up the 10 for review. I haven't even heard of that, CG. Yes, yeah, Storm, I was watching Jay and I was watching I was watching Jay and Gamers Nexus as well. That's that's a long fucking live cast though. Yeah, I'm sounding a bit better, Roch, for the, the, the tonsillitis is all cleared up now. I've got a little bit of a chesty cough now and again, but yeah, it's it's cleared up. <coughs> Can I ask a question? If it wasn't for your reviewing, do you think you would still be vaping? Or stopped completely. I would still be vaping, Mr. Blue. I would probably not be vaping as much, but I would still be vaping, even if I wasn't reviewing. <sighs> vaping heed the recurved jewel is a damn good bit of cat. I've got mine's up in the studio. I, I, in fact, no, I don't. I think it's here. Is the recurved jewel here? Because I think... I think we're doing a coil off with the recurved jewel here on the show this week. Have I got the recurved jewel here? Or have I fucking lost it? I bet I've lost it again. I'm sure I had the recurved jewel here. Where the fuck did it go? That is going to annoy the fuck out of me now. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Recurved jewel. Time for me to get busy with more chores. Okie doke, lethal. I'll catch you later on. How do you like the EVP, Stuart? I fucking love this thing. Fucking love it. I've got some of Les Pickens' uh, 12 milligram tobacco in here. Great little bit of kit, the EVP. Jelly Baby Beauty. How you doing, Jelly Baby? I lost it years ago, no. Evening, Toby and Noel, lad. Yeah, Noel, Noel, yeah, Noel, yeah. <sighs> Fan to cool you down and get... No, it's to get rid of the vape, Darren. It's actually kind of chilly here right now. Because we are supposed to get rain all the way through tomorrow here on the West Coast. It's supposed to start raining at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning and not stop until tomorrow night. So it's getting a bit chilly outside down out there. Oh, you meant the gen? Yeah, I'd buy one, CJ. It's a fucking good mod. Michael Donaghy, not up to much. How you doing, Paul Ben? How you doing, Bill? And the one I'm on right now, Andy, is that one. Focus in, you fucker. Fucking focus. Focus! 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 Jesus Christ, be in it. There we go. Fucking finally. Organic Canadian flu cure. That's the one I'm vaping on right now. <sighs> Reverend James Morley, how you doing? Yeah, I'm not, I'm, 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 yeah, it's, it's, the fans blowing the vape back into the room, right, but it's just there to break up the cloud so it doesn't get too cloudy in here. <coughs> Mad Mojo Moments, hello from Louisiana. How you doing, Mad Mojo? Is it possible to get the black vibe juice in the US? You'll need to ask, uh, you'll need to ask, um, Rochford Project, because I don't have a clue. Your views on the Falcon King? Don't have a clue, because I haven't tried it. Drop dead for nine ninety nine. I'd go for that, Paul. How you doing, Terry? <sighs> Cheers, Gadget. How you doing, Ian? I just bought the SXK billet box. Have I made a good or bad decision? The billet box is a good bit of kit. Mine's is up in the studio. I use it now and again. Very handy with the rebuildable head as well. 
I don't watch any TV toxic. TV here sucks. Since you vape heavy on your computer gear, have you transitioned to M2 or SSD? I've got an SSD boot drive and uh, three one terabyte spinning drives. Techly man, how you doing? How you doing, Ben's Milk? Just sent off for a Tony B swell. That's a good little bit of kit, that, the swell kit from Tony B. Good little bit of kit. Evening, Tony. What's the best UK online shop, Vic? There's loads of them, Stephen, to be honest. Loads of them. Yeah, Saint, doing all right. <sighs> Is mouth to lung vaping any good? As I've never done it. Mouth to lung vaping, you generally tend to use, uh, you generally tend to use higher nicotine liquids, so you don't vape as much as you do if you're vaping in like a lung hit thing like this. Recently bought the UD named from Nameless Vic, was gutted, paid 205 for it, and two days later it was down to 120? Fucking seriously? See, that's why, that's, that's, that's the, that's the problem with the high-end market, because people, people are buying these mods right up until the day before they end up putting them on sale. So you could end up buying something, and less than 24 hours later, that same item is up for sale for half price. And the high-end market is not doing themselves any fucking favours by doing that. They're really not, they're, they're really not doing themselves any favours. <clears throat> no, I'm not, Arky. I'm just doing a general live stream. When's the Kelpie mouth to lung due? Martin, next year. I've got the dripper and the dual coil Kelpie to do first. Are there any pre-2018 tanks or mods you still use? There's no pre-2018 tanks that I still use. Uh, mods, there's a couple. The G-Class is one of them. Um, in fact, I think there's only one, the G-Class. <laughs> what CBD juice do you use at the moment? I am usually using Peng. That's the one I'm usually using. What do you think about the KF Lite 2019? Don't know, Dunstan, because I've never reviewed it and never had my hands in one either. Not using it, Paul, because the watch style pod gets up the studio. Would you recommend the Kelpie as best RTA from China currently? Been wondering which one to choose, Wasp Dano or the Kelpie or both. Go and watch the reviews near. But a lot of reviewers have said the Kelpie beats the Wasp Nano for flavour. So, there we go. <clears throat> Vic still uses pre-1918 mods. Shut up, Noel. Which of the Asmodus Kadama mods has the best stab wood finish? It will be uh, the Asmodus Minikin Boost that's got the best stab wood finish on it. <clears throat> How you doing, Nathan? Cheers, Stephen. Vic, I see you just uploaded the review, the video for the swell mod. What is your overall opinion? Go and watch the review taxi. Does aluminium taint flavour? I've got a Zeus X clone and it tastes really bad. Cleaned it as much as possible and still bad. I've got a genuine one stainless, same build and it's great. <clears throat> did you clean it in a... Did you clean it in, a, in an ultrasonic cleaner? Because that might not be the metal. That might end up being a little bit of machining oil trapped inside the post. Evening, Adam. What's best to use with CBD? A pod kit? Yes, Nathan. Pod kit or some other kind of mouth-to-lung style vape. Any difference in the nicotine shots that are available for quality? Yeah, they're, they're basically all selling the same nicotine. It's, it's advisable to buy a nicotine shot from a reputable source. 
that knows how to store their nicotine though in case you don't want to buy nicotine shots where the nicotine's slightly off. <coughs> no, Jay's not gonna be in the Jay's not gonna be in the show, Jason. That's just the nightbot thing running from a couple of weeks ago. Big Red, haven't seen the Omega Club from Vicious Ant. Are you still using the x -Promiser? I am, Junior Biker, that the x -Promiser's up in the studio, uh, filled up with more of Les Pickens' tobacco, actually. Doom Mesh RTA, can you put too much wick in as I'm getting dry hit even after watching your review? Wonder if I'm packing the wick too tight. You might be packing it slightly too tight if you're getting a dry hit from it. How are you finding the double barrel? It's... I've got zero issues with it, Andy. Double barrel's a good mod. It's the V3 I've got. Does the UL amulet keep proper time? I can't say I've actually tested that, Cron. <laughs> <laughs> How would you know the nicotine is off? It tastes peppery. There's a slight pepper-like taste to nicotine that starts to go off. Cheers, Mr. Blue. Do you still use the Zeus X Vic? No, I don't. Smoke and steam, Johnson. Although both of them are an abject fucking disaster, but between the two of them, Johnson's the worst. When's the Asgard review going to be up? I don't have a clue, Michael. Vic, I'm thinking of using CBD. Do you think that the K-Fun 5 would be a good choice to use besides my dad's? Yeah, I'd stick it in the K-Fun 5 balls. There's a mouth to lung tank. It'll do the trick. More than Edwin. Left alone on a deserted island with only one mod, one tanker, dripper, and liquid. The liquid would be the liquid would be Black Vine by Rochford Project. The tank would be the Kelpie because hey, I designed it. The mod G class. There we go. <clears throat> My Taro Nano is getting very hot. I have the Crown 4 at 60 watt. That's probably why the Taro Nano is getting a bit hot, because number one, the Crown 4 itself gets hot, and you're running the Taro Nano at 60 watts. <clears throat> do you own any DNA chip mods? I do vape and heat. I've got a whole bunch of lost vape mods that run with DNA chips on them that I hardly ever use. Have you tried the Tripod RTA? No, I haven't, Damp. Heard of it, haven't tried it. Blind me Vic, you vape loads in that pod, how are you not buzzing off the neck? Paul, I chain vape 12 and 16 milligram all the time. All the time. <coughs> Vic, do you think the Vapor SO Gen will be on your list of best mods in 2019? But it's hard to say, because we're, 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 we're only halfway through the year. But I've still got a feeling the Vapor SO, the Vapor SO Gen's going to be somewhere in the top five. Somewhere in the top five for 2018. Yeah, the neck from Loose Mill's all right. Not wrong with that. Vic, have you tried any VP8 products? I don't think I have, Michael. I've always got the shakes, Lima. Restless leg syndrome, my legs, my legs are actually bouncing and it causes the rest of my body to bounce as well. And that plus I've still got a little touch of a trap nerve on the shoulder as well, which ain't fucking helping. Would there ever be a stock coil Kelpie? Probably not, Reverend James. I was thinking about the idea of a stock coil Kelpie, but nah. There's far too many stock coil tanks already out there in the market. Baker or Pertwee? Pertwee. 
Do you prefer yee or DNA? yee I prefer yee DNA. DNAs are like Intel. They're the fucking classic analogy. Let's talk about computer stuff, right? DNA is Intel. AMD is yee right? So for ages and ages and ages and ages, DNA, Evolve Boards, Intel, were ahead of the game. It was like, look, we're releasing all this stuff and all these new boards with fucking temp control and replay that nobody ever fucking uses. And look at our, all, new, all our new boards. We're going to release board after board after board. All of these new boards are going to have screen problems in the case of the DNA 30 and 40. And if we release all these new boards, we're going to charge a fucking fortune for them. Remind you of anything? Intel. So, yee pop up. In the background. In the background, just doing their own thing. This is EMD. They come out with the early Yeehe mods, the very early ones. They make a name for themselves, much like AMD did with the Athlon 64 series. Intel, in other words, DNA Evolve, shit themselves, drop the price down. But they still keep releasing new board after new board after new board with very little changes to the algorithm, and the prices go back up again. So, again, for months... Everyone's saying, Evolve! Evolve is the best! They're not really the best, but they, they, they say they're the best. Evolve DNA boards, you cannot beat them for functionality and for fucking around in the stupid eScribe software that half the people that buy a DNA board don't fucking use anyway. And then, and then, Yee slash AMD come out with their new boards for the G-Class. And that's when things started to change, because the G-Class board brought in something better than what DNA at the time had to offer, just like AMD did with the Ryzen boards. And what's happening in the computer scene now? Intel are dropping their prices like mad. Intel are panicking, so they're dropping their prices, and that's exactly what, that's exactly what DNA are doing now. DNA are panicking. Absolutely panicking. So, yeah, I have never been a fan of Evolve. They are overpriced. For what they do, they are overpriced. And they do not have the run of the hill anymore. Because if you look at it, even even when it comes to boards like Yeehe boards. How you doing, TVP? Even when it comes to boards like Yeehe boards and Evolve boards. You look at what Evolve boards are doing right now with the latest iteration of the Evolve DNA line, the DNA 250, right? And you look at what Yeehe are doing with the latest iteration of the Yeehe board that you're finding inside this mod here, right? What's the two things? What's the two things that we always judge DNA and Yeehe boards on? How hard they hit for wattage vape and how well they work with temp control. See this mod here? This mod has perfect temp control and hits wattage mode perfectly, and it does not have a Yeehe or a DNA board in it. The times of looking at Evolve and looking at Yeehe as ruling the roost is now over. It's just over. And Evolve, not just Evolve, but Yeehe as well, have a big problem going into 2020 because they now have other Chinese manufacturers making boards that are just as good as an Evolve board and just as good as a Yeehe board for a quarter of the price that the Yeehe and DNA boards are selling at. They've got a big problem coming up next year. And I, I've, got a, I've got a gut feeling... I've got a gut feeling by the end of 2020, Evolve may go bust. Just saying. Just saying. I've got a gut feeling though, end of 2020, Evolve's going to go bust. Now I'm going to have all the Evolve fanboys calling me a bastard in the comments in this video later on. Oh dear. That was a good little rant, that, actually. Anyone mentions Evolve in chat, I usually just start fucking ranting. This <laughs> is fucking arms all the time. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Why can't you use V variable voltage? There's not a lot of people use variable voltage these days though, Stephen. That's the thing. Variable wattage is far easier to control than variable voltage based mods. <clears throat> Judging by that big manufacturing plant that Evolve has to pay Yeah, Evolve have spent a fortune. But their sales must be going down. Their sales must be going... Okay, okay. Here's, here's a question. Here's a question. Name the last major DNA-based release mod. Name. Now, if I asked this question back, at, back this time in 2018 or 2017, you could list off a whole list. Triad was last year. Paranormal was last year, beginning of this year. I'm talking this year. We're already we're already halfway through 2019. There is compare we're already halfway through 2019, right? And if we if you compare the release schedule for the first half of 2018 and the first half of 2017 that had evolved boards in it, and you look at the release schedule for big release mods at the first half of 2019, you're looking at a massive drop. Massive drop in the amount of mods that are using DNA boards in them. Massive drop. Yeah, that's right, Lou. H Cigar dropped Evolve halfway through 2018 because they were costing too much. Yeah, that's true, Joel, but the problem with Vicious Ant is they cost too much. I am talking about mainstream, as close to mainstream as you can possibly get. Like, like take for instance the H Cigar mods that had the DNA board inside. They were still priced fairly at the upper end of the mainstream. Yeah, Gail, Nightbot's just repeating stuff from the, the live show, the UK vape show a couple of, couple of weeks ago. <coughs> The thing is, Andy, if you look at Lost Vapes' upcoming lineup, three quarters of their new mods do not have DNA boards in them now. They're in the process of ditching DNA as well. They're actually going with their own board. Hobgoblin, chuck your question in. I'm not guaranteeing if I can actually read it, though. <coughs> How to trigger send DGLS be a SIG 213 with a TNS Toby. <laughs> oh, I still remember that whole Segeli thing with I still remember that whole Segeli thing with Daniel. That's going back a bit now though. Oh, that that whoa, that wasn't good for Segeli. That really wasn't good for Segeli. What's the best rebuildable mesh tank you would recommend, Vic? None of them, because I hate rebuildable mesh tanks. Okay then, Profile Unity, or the Doom. The Doom was actually a nice tank, but I'm I'm just not a fan of rebuildable mesh tanks. I'm really not. Balls, shut up. What are you most enjoying reviewing this week? The Dovepo Topside Dual Carbon, and the Swell Kit review that went up earlier on today. Had a bit of fun with the intro in that one. Well, mesh isn't crap, Hobgoblin, but it's a bastard to work with. It's an absolute fucking nightmare to work with. DNA or yee for battery efficiency. I'd, I'd, oh, fucking phone's going nuts. I would go um, for battery efficiency. I would actually go with DNA, to be honest. A 
I bet you're looking forward to the dual mesh RDA and oh god. Yeah, I've got that fucker in for review as well. The Slatra or something from Ambition's Vapor. What's worse than a single mesh based dripper? A dual mesh based dripper. That's going to be a fucking nightmare, that thing. Would you rather have a dry hit or watch Love Island? I'd rather have a dry hit. I think we will see a load of manufacturers switching their laptops to AMD when the new Ryzen 2 mobile chips came out. There was a load of lot there was a load of laptop manufacturers storm that switched to AMD when the first gen Ryzen came out. I've actually got one behind me, in fact, hold on. This is the laptop I bring with me to Expos. There we go. Big Acer fella. Open this up. There we go. Ryzen and a Radeon inside, and it's a fucking good little laptop, this. It's a bit on the fucking heavy side, but it's a good little laptop, this one. Will you get the Keyfun 2019? Ash, probably not. Oh, how are you doing, Red? A.K.A. Alan Tickle. Best single coil RTA for flavour. Well, let's look into that, shall we? Top things must see. There is a little tank called the Kelpie, and if you if you search for the Kelpie RTA on reviews on YouTube, you'll find a whole load of reviewers like Mike Vapes, like Vaping Goat, like Ken, uh, like uh, like Matt Cully, Suck My Mod. Uh, you see a whole load of reviewers saying this has got great flavour. Oh, this tank's empty. Fuck, that was close. Night's lover! Or Night K lover, how you doing? I mentioned goat, I said Jared. Even Jay Hayes said yeah, even Jay Hayes said the Kelpie had good flavour. Yep. And apparently it's just a rumour though, apparently the guy that designed the Kelpie is a super cool dude. <clears throat> Ian, I, I keep meaning to order the M25 Fatality and I keep fucking forgetting to order it. That's the problem. Reckon the RD is going to get ripped up. Well, here's the thing, Andy, right? The, the, it's like, you know, the Kelpie. The Kelpie was my first design, so I think a lot of reviewers kind of let me off with some of the issues. Post fucking screws, for instance. When that dripper comes out, the honeymoon period is going to be over. So, the, 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 yeah. When that dripper comes out, there'll be reviewers that are going to nitpick the fuck out of it. So, I'm going to have to make sure when that dripper comes out sometime at the end of this year that it is pretty damn close to perfect on release. Pretty damn close. Yep, Dyer thing, it's still on track for a fall release sometime in September or October. That's what I'm thinking. Okie doke, CJ. Catch you later on. You've never been cool in your puff. That's why. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. But yeah, I mean, for when it comes to the when it comes to the Kelpie dripper, think Kelpie tank with the tank removed. That's basically what it's going to be. Very, very similar design. The deck that is very similar design. Very similar design to the way the deck on the tank is. Because here's the thing: the deck on this is giving fantastic flavour. If it's not broke, don't fucking fix it. Simple as that. So all they're basically going to be doing is removing the tank section, 
altering some segments of the airflow chamber and then just sticking a top cap on it. That's essentially what the Kelpie RD is going to be. Vic is going to use proprietary screws in his dripper, so you have to buy a special tool. Don't give me any ideas, Cron. ka -ching! <laughs> I can just imagine if the Kelpie RDA got released and it was a special tool that you had to buy separately. Oh, the fucking furora! The shit I would get for that. <laughs> What's wrong with the rabbit cotton? The rabbit... what? Rabbit... Oh, you're talking about Angora Rabbit or Anger Rabbit? I never liked it, to be honest. This is the stuff I use. I use that stuff in the tanks and I use Muji cotton for the drippers. Nothing wrong with that stuff. Good stuff, cotton gods. What's the best memory carb for a Canon power shot? I don't know because I don't use a Canon power shot. Don't forget, with additional screws, additional tank, additional bubble glass, 40 quid, additional 20 quid for screws, 100 quid for the tank. <laughs> Kelpie RDA will need LEDs in it. Scuba? No. 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 Yes, I said I'm going to be doing a mod. That'll be the last thing. That'll be the final part of the Kelpie range. But no, it won't have fidget spinners either. <sighs> Never get on with RTA and RDA sub-ohm tank guy. LG, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of people out there that just use stock coil sub-ohmers. Looking forward to the Kelpie watch. <laughs> really, flat cap. Really. <laughs> Moto Vapor, tuber box for what? You talking about the mod that I'm coming out with? Both. It won't have a DNA board in it, Lewis. Nope. It'll be a cold day in fucking hell before I put a DNA board in a mod that's got my name on it. <coughs> Ben Vapes, do you still use your T-Class from time to time? No, I actually gave the T-Class to TVP. He got the T-Class. The 60mm Kelpie will have 10mm allergies. <laughs> Cron. What's the oldest... Ah, oh, that's a good question. The oldest atomizer I still use. That's... That's the oldest atomizer I'm still using. I've got this version of the goon, and I've got the slot airflow version of the goon. That's the oldest ones that I'm still using. Christian P. Gen mod. Oh, that's a fucking tough question. Well, here's the. I've got the. I've got the Gen here, right? And I love the Gen. The Swell mod and Gen mod are two different styles of mod, though. If you're looking for a beater mod, something that you're not going to worry about if you drop it, something that you don't care if it gets scratched up, something that you want to take out to work with you, get the Swell mod. Because if you drop this thing outside, you're gonna scratch the paintwork to fuck on it. Because this thing's got this thing's got a coated finish on it. You can see it. It's got a coated finish on it. So if you drop this, it'll be scratched to hell. Swell mods are beater mod. The gen mods are mod that you're gonna take care of. No, I haven't used the Igo L for years. Literally years. 21700 or 18650 in your mod you're designing. Depends which mod, Carl. <sighs> Do 
Very true, Ike. The, the, the goon. It's an old dripper, but it's still a damn good dripper, though. I still use mine. Still use it. George, I'm not even going to attempt that last name, George. Greetings from Greece. No chance of a Kelpie mouth to lung RTA. There is a Kelpie mouth to lung RTA planned for the future lineup, but it's not going to be until 2020. <sighs> Cheers, happy. So that was you that sent the email regarding your mother in law. Yep. Best recent RDA. Recurve Jewel. Don't tell him. But <laughs> he just doesn't know yet, Gail. <laughs> is the Ocular RDA the new goon? It kind of is, he'd, but I still use the goon. It's a solid dripper, the goon. Break out the old blue fish tank filter material and wick up a dripper. <laughs> Shh, our secret. Okay, I won't. I won't tell him, Gil. I won't tell him. How you doing, Zero? What's your favourite mouth to lung RTA? X Vapes Expromiser version four. That's my favourite mouth to lung RTA. Direct to lung RTA. Single coil, Kelpie. Dual coil, I'll go with the rebirth. Yeah, because I've got the rebirth here. I'll go with the rebirth where I go, wow. Yeah, I need to clean this tank because that juice is getting really, look at the hell. Hell, I need to clean that tank. The retro sucks. I was thinking in doing a retro because the, the, the show that you're watching right now currently untitled this is going to be a separate show from the UK vape show so I was I was thinking in doing a retro review well not really a review because it's something I've reviewed already but I was thinking in doing a like a retro thing like dragging out one of the old mods from the history cupboards this is all old shit behind me in here dragging out something a mod from the old history cupboard and then dragging out an old tank or an old dripper from something like 2015 or something. Okay, don't, Gail. Have a good one. Yeah, I know, balls. It's just not looking good. It's been sitting in this desk for about a week. It's, ew, ew. Finally built my rebirth RTA. It is, it's a good tank, crackers. It's a good tank. You could call this show floofing with Vic. No, Andy. No, no. Time for a Carto of the Month. I've actually still got some old Carto setups somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. <coughs> Empire Vape Co. How you doing, Chris? Keep getting hot button and bonza kit. Check usual suspects but can't solve it. Hot button is usually something to do with the actual switch contact itself. So I would strip the whole thing down and make sure everything is clean, first of all, before you do anything else with it. Yes, more better, exactly, Noel. That's it, Cron. This is called in-tank steeping. <laughs> what do you think about the Dvorvavorv? I haven't even heard of that, Colonel Stanley. Dvorvavorv, speaker, next gen, origin, all my best. I've heard of the origin, I've heard of the next gen. I haven't heard of the Dvorvavorv or the speaker. What do you think of the Aroma Miser RTA? Which one night? There's about fucking seven of them, seven of them out there now. Right, why not bring back full week of retro vape? Bring back full week of retro vapes. What? 
well, like a whole week of retro vapes, that would take too fucking long. How did you come up with the Kelpie name? It's a Scottish thing, G Max. At the moment, I like the Brunhilde. The Brunhilde's a good tank, but it's fucking big, though, after a single coil RTA. Any recommendation, guys? There you go. Get one of these. <sighs> Okie doke, gravity. Catch you later on. Will you be calling the next line of tanks the cell? <laughs> Andy, I haven't even thought that far. Right, so... All I know is, all I know is, September, October of this year, Kelpie RDA, right? February, March of next year, Kelpie Dual Coil RTA. Something like June or July of next year, Kelpie Mouth to Lung RTA. And somewhere around about October of next year, we're going to be looking at the Kelpie mods. I haven't planned ahead any further than that, because that's like a year's worth of releases right there. Single coil RDA. That's a tough one, actually. A single coil dripper. Because all the drippers I use are dual coil. Yeah, all, all the ones I've got here are all dual coil. I was just thinking about that, Toby. The recurve, the jaw near. There's another one. Bill Richards, the Jolnia, it's a fucking big dripper though for a single coiler. <sighs> Dual coil Kelpie, yes it is, Rick, next year. <sighs> Will the dual battery mod be shaped like a two-headed horse? Probably not you, but because it'd be very uncomfortable to use if it was. What coil would you recommend for the Kelpie? I'm using a 0 .7, 0 0.37 stainless steel Clapton. Should I go lower? Nothing wrong with 0 0.37. I've got point. I've got point four. Well, here's mine. I've got point four eight in mine. And what I've got in mine is a single, single coil. Obviously, I think it's a. I think it's a triple core fuse Clapton. I've got in this. Barbara, how you doing? Will the Kelpie series be coming out in new colours, Vic? The dripper will. The dripper's going to come in all sorts of different colours. I don't know about the dual coil tank, though. I think that might still be stainless steel and black for the dual coil tank. <coughs> What's the oldest device, Atty, in your collection that you still use? Well, somebody's already asked that, Wilbur. Uh, the oldest Atty is the goon, and I've got another one of these fellas up in the studio. The oldest mod is sitting up there right now, and it's the G-Class. All companies should start using Scandinavian names, just no, Andy, no, no. Jean, they are stupid name for a fucking dripper in the first place. <laughs> Cron... No one wants to strangle a horse's head and squeeze its throat to fire. Think of the children! Exactly, Cron. Exactly. <laughs> Okie doke, vape and heed. Have a good one. Catch you later on. <coughs> Put a dual coil fuse clapped in the kit. Dual core fuse clapped in the Kelpie point three five. Should begin. Yeah, not wrong with that, Bill. Not wrong with that. It's a triple core fuse clapped and I've got in this right now. I've got dual cores up there, but they're a bit on the low side on the ohms. <coughs> John Graham, did you see Ohm Boy asking Fagan outside at NVA? Yeah, I watched, I was actually watching the live stream at the time, John. Um, I think Fagan handled that well, because that, that could have turned, that could have turned very nasty very quick. It could have. It could have turned very nasty very quick. I think Fagan handled himself well. He just like had a couple of words and walked away. Is Jean near as bad? No, nothing. No, I'm not even saying that, Andy. Because then everyone... Oh, fuck it. Okay. Is Jean near as bad as Matt's passage? Cue all the jokes. 
never gets old. It never gets old. Matt's passage never gets old. What do you think of the Asmodus Lustro? It's a fucking good mod giant, especially the Kadama version of it. I've got two K Fun Prime since release. If you can afford it, go for it. If not, get the Expromiser. Yeah, Nick, Cookie's right. If you can't afford the K Fun Primes, get the Expromiser version 4, because the Expro version 4 is a fucking good tank. It really is. There will not be a Kelpie Pod or a Kel Pod, because there's far too many pod kits already out there. Far too many. Apparently, Andy was sucking on Matt's passage earlier. There we go. How you doing from Portugal, South Vapor? His passage isn't bad. It's just airy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Arky, that's already been done. There was a mech mod that was produced... There was a mech mod that was produced by a Scot. It was designed by a Scotsman, but produced in Middle and Central Europe in 2016. That was called the Kaber. It's already been done. Probably won't be a Kelpie mech, Mike, because I'm not really into my mech mods, to be honest. I'm really not. And if it was going to be a mech, it would be something similar to what Geek Vape did with the Pro line. It would be a box mod parallel dual battery series mech if I was going to make myself a mech mod with a Kelpie logo on it. It would be a dual battery parallel. That's what I would end up doing. <clears throat> What's your opinion? South Vapor? You're the second person to ask that. I haven't even heard of that tank. The the devolver, the d devolver. D I don't have a clue. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. I'll need to look it up now because you're the second person that's asked about that. I'll need to look it up in Google later on. Will the Kelpie mod be dual eighteen six fifty or twenty one seven hundred? Both. Kelpie is better than Amit 25mm. Yes. Just flat out yes. The Amit 25 is... It's showing its age now, the Amit 25. Addy Tuny, how you doing, Addy? The Dvorvivers are great for tobaccos. I've, I've never even heard of it. Never heard of it. I'll need to look it up in Google now. Any mods with a real glass screen scratch proof? If it was scratch proof, it would need to have Gorilla Glass on it. And if a mod had Gorilla Glass on it, it would be too fucking expensive. Will Dilly Gap, will Dilly Gap be making you a Kelpie stand to showcase... Oh, 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 said Tom Baker. I never thought of that, Cron. An actual dedicated stand to show off the Kelpie line because it's going to be a line it's going to be well there's one of the Kelpies there Kelpie RDA Kelpie dual coil tank Kelpie mouth to lung then the Kelpie mods it's going to be a full line I never thought of that I never thought of that ST Vapes how you doing ST Vic will the Kelpie RDA be dual it will be single It's it's basically this it's this with the tank removed and a top cap shoved on top. That's what it is. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Chevy man, how you doing? <clears throat> well, you're here, Marty, you're hearing the phone. Um, I get I get messages all the damn time. Danny screwed Matt's passage in the kill piece. <laughs> This happens whenever you mention that dripper. Just that the jokes keep coming. They just keep coming. I'm using the Aegis Solo with the Cerberus 0.2, but it's showing as 0.16. Is this normal? Yes, it is, Icon. Don't worry about it. The 16mm Dvorvivir is the tank... Pardon me. 
that new light bulb Ogvate Merlin is... B oh, you're talking about that. The Ogvate Merlin mouth-to-lung tank with that stupid bubble glass they put in there. So that's based off that dwarf then, because I know that the Ogvate Merlin mouth-to-lung RT has got a very interesting deck on it. Very interesting deck. <clears throat> What's the top bottle opener thing called? Ash, it's... I can't fucking find it now. Where did I put it? Here it is. You're talking about these things to open up gorilla bottles? It's this. It's uh, it's called the Alpha 3. You can get it from... Uh, you can get it from Paul Harrison's shop, Shady Vaping, the guy that runs Endless Mods. He's selling these. That's it here. It's the Alpha 3. Really, really good for opening up, but really good for opening up gorilla bottles. <clears throat> more airflow for the RDA slightly more airflow and it's not going to be a big airy dripper but it's going to be it's going to have slightly more airflow than the tank has that's for sure I am not taking a 200 watt hit vaping with Ken don't forget the line of Kelpie personal hygiene products coming out next year next summer time absolutely Ken ka-ching <laughs> <laughs> Caesar Ico, Vic, my old OBS engine 2 finally broke. Wow, any suggestions on another top airflow RTA with good flavour? A top RTA, that's... <laughs> top RTA with good flavour. See, here's the thing, I generally don't tend to use top airflow RTAs these days. Top airflow RT with good flavour. I mean, you've got this. You've got the Zeus, not the old one, the new one, not the old one. Fuck the new one. You've got the Zeus. Um, Matt Cully Serpent Elevate. What is? Who's type? What are they saying in chat? Serpent Elevate. Zeus X. Yep. There's the third vote for the Zeus X. Serpent Elevate again. Yeah. Um, I don't generally tend to use top airflow tanks, though, to be honest. Where's the Posty and the Devil? Don't have a clue. Well, Posty was in here at the very beginning. Uh, I think Devil's watching the telly. Kelpie Range Carry Case. Don't give me ideas. Don't, don't, don't give me ideas. Vic, can you suggest a site for rebuildable resources, charts, documents, as I just bought a Geek Vape Amit 25 RT to stop my trip down to the strap hole for you? What's the name of that site now that's got that, that's got the coil fucking calculator in it? Steam Engine? SteamEngine.org. Um, they, they do have a lot of rebuildable resources on that website, charts and documents and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, Steam Engine, that's the one. If you had a choice of one of these, which one would you go for? Passage, Dual Recurve, or the Mutate? I'm guessing that's Mutation RDA. Are you talking about Vaping with Twisted 420's Mutation RDA, or the original Mutation line? That's the big question. If, if, if you're talking about Vaping with Twisted 420's Mutation RDA, I would still go for the Dual Recurve to be honest. Um, the Mutation's a good dripper, but it's a vertical coil dripper. There's only so much you can do with a vertical coil RDA before the coils start to get too big. The Passage is a good dripper, but it's got a tighter airflow than the Dual. The Dual Recurves are much more area dripper, which allows you to put much bigger coils in there and run it at a much higher wattage. But between the two, between the two, the Passage and the Dual Recurve, I would just buy the both of them, to be honest. Yeah. <sighs> Matt's got a mutated... Pa oh my God, Toby. Ah. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> Is that Neil? I am absolutely with you, Neil. You cannot go wrong. Why is this not unscrewing? Because I'm fucking unscrewing it the wrong way. You cannot go wrong with the classic goon. 
I've got this version of the goon and I've got the slot airflow version of the goon up in the studio. Cannot go wrong with the goon. They're old drippers now, but they're still damn good drippers. They really are. <laughs> yes, Nick, the passage is tighter. Insert your jokes here. I think Matt called it the passage so everyone would stop talking about his small mouth. <laughs> Cron, what you like? <laughs> that single coil RDA on a 21700 mech. Your thoughts? Yeah. Recurve. Cthulhu Jolnir. There's another little dripper though. This is a dripper that a lot of people forget about when it comes to single coilers. You've also got this little fella. Tiny, tiny little RDA. And this is the Asmodus C4. And the C4 is quite an old RDA now. But when it comes to single coil RDAs, the flavour out of this is actually pretty damn good. What's your favourite wattage when vaping the Kelpie? There you go. 60 watts, I've got it at 60 watts with a 0.48 ohm coil right now. That's what I normally run mines at. It is, Rick, it's a real... The only problem with the C4, because it's such a fucking small dripper, the spit back can get a little bit bad on it. Do you ever use the Banshee RD anymore? No, I don't. Uh, the Banshee's actually sitting up there, but I don't use it that much now. I'm not even going to read that out, Andy. No, not even going to read that out. <laughs> what regulated tube is better than EH Pro for single coil RTA? A regulated tube that's better than the EH Pro Mod 101. You have got this fella, which is that single regulated tube from Joytech. There's the screen down there. There's your down button. There's your up button. I can't remember what the fuck this is called, though. The fuck's this called? The Altex. There we go. You've got the Altex T80. You've also got the UL Nunchaku, which is another really nice single battery regulated tube mod. <sighs> to be honest, between the T80 and the Nunchaku, I would I would just buy the Nunchaku. To be honest, it's it's a better looking mod. <clears throat> vaping with vaping with Ken. Vaping with Vic. Did you hear vaping can cause a mutation to your DNA? Don't know if it's true or not. I guess only a passage of time will tell <laughs> Ken, don't encourage them, Ken. You're just encouraging them, Ken. You're encouraging them. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a serious... And then he came up with the passage thing. Thanks, Ken. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> You got that dripper that came with <coughs> Wicked Wizard Liquid. Oh my god, that thing with the fucking huge drip. To, no, that's long gone. That thing is long gone. Never had an issue with the Wasp Nano. Good little dripper, the Wasp Nano. It's getting old now, but it's a good little dripper. Will a point two be okay with the Kelpie? Yes, it will, Matthew. However, if you do pop a 0.2 or a 0.1.5 ohm coil in the Kelpie and you run that coil hot, the tank will get hot with it. That's why I generally tend to use higher ohmed coils. Uh, focus on your fucker. Fucking focus. You focused on the last time. There we go. That's why I generally to, to, that's why I generally tend to use higher ohm coils in single coil tanks so the tank doesn't get too hot. Vic, could you be encouraged to try Matt's Passage? It's worth a go. I've already tried Matt's Passage, Andy, and I reviewed it. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> What's the difference between Big Ben and the Queen of England? One is inhuman, intricately decorated, and exists only to mark the passage of time. The other one's a clock. <laughs> Do 
Jay thought the Kylan M looked a little like the Kelpian. No, the Kylan M is a lot more like the... See, that's why I didn't review it, because that Kylan M is getting a whole load of heat, because what, what Vandy Vape have basically done is they've essentially copied what Mr. Just Right One did with the Unity. That's exactly what the Kylan M is. It's a copy of the Unity. Uh, that tank that him and uh, TVC teamed up to do. <clears throat> How about a showdown between 2018's best RTAs? Oh. I don't think I have half of them now. I think I gave a lot of them away. How do you find an old man at a nude beach? It's not... Oh my God, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard oh dear <laughs> might work with hell vape to bring out the arsehole RT <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Don Loco IPV3 IPV V3 Mini Auto Squonk 30 Watt is there, is there an issue with the gunmetal one failing I have to re-watch Empire's vape video. I think he mentioned two gunmetal ones failing. Yeah, I don't have the gunmetals. I was sent the black ones out and I've had zero issues with them. Zero issues with them. Both of them are working fine. Vic, how about a showdown between... Yeah, your uh, 2018 and 2019's best RTAs. That's if I've actually still got any of 2018's best RTAs still kicking about because I've got a nasty tendency of giving away all my old stuff. Uh, Toby, I got hit by a car on my way to my graduation. The worst part is, I had the rite of passage. R really? 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 <laughs> Saw you reviewing the Valerian 2, but I can't deal with a 510, so bought the Raptor instead. Oh, you're talking about the tank, right. Tube mods takes me back to my first mod. Some weird Kangatech TC mod built-in battery with a sub-tank on top. That's going back a bit. If it's a Kangatech sub-tank. You're talking about, what, 2015, 2016? Hello from South Africa. How you doing, Dean? Vic, since you have a tendency to give away old stuff, do you have a spare G-Class? <laughs> really, Andy? Really? <laughs> Will you be exporting your videos over to VapeTube at all, Vic? Hippie, if I was to export all of my videos to VapeTube, I would end up crashing the server. Um, I think I'm up to 2,067 videos on the channel now. Yeah, I think it's something like 2,067 videos on the channel. If I was to export all of them to VapeTube, th the server would just blow up. Vaping with Ken. So when you die, you'll have to talk to the Soul Keeper, you well mod, and see if you get the passage to heaven or hell. You're, Ken, you're just encouraging them, Ken. That's what you're doing, Ken. You're encouraging them to tell more passage jokes. Thanks, Ken. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Getting In The Blitz Monster? I've seen it. I don't know if I'm getting it, though. Hey Vic, got a nice blue camo G-Class I picked up cheap in the streets. <laughs> yeah, thanks James, thanks. Don't know if this is a common question Vic, but what is the most, the most expensive mod? The most expensive mod I currently have, there's two of them. There's this fella, which is currently up here. Come here you. There's this fella that's sitting in here which is the Spade from Vicious Ant, but the most expensive mod is up in the studio, and that is the, uh, that is the, um, Asmodus Ohmsmium 2. It's that green thing with the big stupid red button in the front. That's the most expensive mod that I've got. Hasn't everyone worn out SMM's passage by now? No, because apparently Moss, he's got a very sturdy passage. <laughs> Philip, I... 
Philip, I would review Smock again if Smock actually sent something out to review. They've just stopped sending stuff out again. Will Matt's new RDA be called the colonoscopy? Jesus fuck. <laughs> Vic, how do you see the USA fiasco playing out? It's going to be a shit show, Stephen. If, if the Food and Drug Administration, if the FDA do not file to the judge, if they don't file some kind of appeal within the next 60 days, it means the FDA have given up. And if no appeal is filed, it basically means that in 10 months' time, anything for sale in the United States that has not been through the PMTA will essentially be illegal to sell in the USA. It all depends on whether the FDA is going to decide to actually file an appeal within the next 60 days. That's what it comes down to. The first rule of innuendo club. Come in the back door so you don't dirty up my front passage. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> if you give away stuff, Vic, I would honestly ask you if you had any vape-related stickers. Here's the thing, Grant. There's not a lot of companies that are actually putting stickers in with their mods and their tanks now. There used to be a time in 20, 2015, 2016 where every tank, every mod and every dripper had a little sticker in it, either a logo of the company or a sticker with the name of the mod, but they just don't do it now. Are you reviewing the You Well Watch podcast? Shane, the You Well Watch podcast thing is going to be up for review next week, I think. Vaping UK Illuminati behind the FDA and PMTA process, tinfoil hat time. You know too much, Ken. You do know too much. Yes. <laughs> Vic, I see you're still on the gen mod. I'm in the market for new mod. Would you recommend that over the rest of the decent... Gen? Yeah, I would. Um, either this, either this, or the Van de Vape Swell Kit. That's another good little dual battery mod. Vic, did you ever go to Hollywood for a Q&A? Nope. Do you still vape Yelix Turkish tobacco? DE, I basically stopped vaping Yelix Turkish since I got my hands in this stuff. Um, the organic, or well, not so much the organic, but the naturally extracted stuff from uh, Les Picken here in the UK. It's not so much, Abdul, it's not so much the multi-billion tobacco companies that want to ban vaping. It's the multi-billion big pharmaceutical companies that want to ban vaping. That's the big problem the United States has right now. Big tobacco can easily slip in and buy up large segments of the electronic cigarette market. Big pharma technically can't. And it's Big Pharma that's losing a lot more money than Big Tobacco is right now. <clears throat> Vic, what in your opinion is the best mod under 60 quid? The best mod under 60 quid? Well, that rules this out. Because this is being sold for, I think, £65? That rules this out. I think... The one that I reviewed today, the, the Van de Vape Swell, I think you can get the mod alone without the tank for under 60 quid. If you're after a dual battery. Or... What would you say is the better dual 18650 mod? The Minikin V3 or the Double Barrel? Minikin. Double Barrel's a good mod, but the Minikin's far better. It gives you more options. How is the TPD law being applied in the UK? Everything, South Vapor. 
2 mil tank capacity, 10 mil bottle limit. Advertising restrictions are a little bit more relaxed in the UK, though. If the USA ban vape goods, will that be a problem for USA reviewers? I doubt it, Jules. Um, the USA reviewers, they would still get their shipments in from China. They would still, it might be a little bit harder for them, but they would still get their shipments in from China. Is that the Starship Enterprise? Yeah, it is there. It's the Galaxy Class, the Triple Nacelle Galaxy Class from All Good Things. That's what that is right there. Colonel Stanley, that's a very loaded question. Let, let, me, let me put it this way, Stanley. Me and Mark Todd have not spoken to each other for about four years now. I think it's coming on to four years now. We haven't said a word to each other since the end of 2014. Are dual 2700... 2700? 21700. Yeah, they are, Alfredo. Well, 21700 batteries generally tend to have a... generally tend to have a slightly higher amp limit than 18650s. And 21700 batteries generally tend to have a longer battery life between charges than an 18650 battery as well. That's why 21700s became a thing. Vic, your thought on mech mods? I like them, but I don't like using them. Andy, I haven't spoken to Kelvin since he floofed. No, oh, that's the wrong term. Since he... What's the word I'm looking for? Since he flounced out of the scene. There we go. And that's been about a year and a half, two years ago now. It was apparently Kelvin's into the whole... into the whole new wave Christian thing. I don't even know if he's still vaping. Anyway, folks, it's coming up to half past... Fuck me, is it already half eleven? Jesus, it is. I was only supposed to be on for half an hour. What the fuck? How long has it been since you talked to Robert Ellis? Well, armed Vapor? Bob? Um, God, I haven't talked to... When was the last time I spoke to Robert Ellis? I think I seen him in chat. I think I seen Armed Vapor in chat in one of the UK vape shows about a month ago, but... I haven't, I haven't really, I haven't really spoke to, haven't really spoke to Robert Ellis since the whole thing went down over at Vapors.tv. Vic, what mod are you using at the moment? I am currently using the Vapor SO Gen, and it's a fucking good mod. Good RDA for a beginner builder. I'm tempted to say good, but you can't fucking buy them now. Good RDA for a beginner builder. Dual coil or single coil? That's the big question, though. If you're going to go for a single coil RDA, uh, Jolnir or the little nudge, really, really super easy to build on the nudge. Dual coil for a new builder. Recurve dual? That's relatively easy to build on. Vic, do you see the EU breaking up? That's a 50-51, Perry. Germany and France will try and keep the EU together as long as they possibly can. But the problem with the European Union is the European Union has a massive deficit going on. Central European countries are basically propping up the entire EU economy while Greece, Spain and Portugal are on the edge, and Italy coming to think of it, are on the verge of bankruptcy. So if the bankruptcies keep continuing with the South and Northern EU countries, What's going to end up happening is Germany, France and the Central European countries, especially once the UK leaves, are going to find themselves with massive tax bills. Massive tax bills. You need to remember the UK is throwing, throwing, like it's almost like 50, 60 billion pounds into the EU economy every year to prop the economy up. When we leave, Germany, France and a couple of other Central European companies have to pick up that bill. So will the EU survive? I don't know. I honestly don't know. <sighs> Okey-doke, Festus. Have a good one. 
look after the throat but yeah that's that's why i'm going to be cutting because i'm starting to cough a little bit as well that's why i'm going to cut the live show short here can you buy tanks in your local shop in the uk with more than two mil capacity no no uh legally legally speaking any vape shop cannot technically sell a tank that's got more uh, that's got more than two mil capacity. Now, there is grey areas that kind of allow some shops to slide around that rule, but generally speaking, you can't get a tank more than two mil capacity in a vape shop. Andy Croshaw, there will be more centre-left vids. I'm actually in the process of cleaning out the second office, like half the back half of the second office, and I'm going to be turning the back half of the second office into a mini studio specifically for the centre-left channel. So there's going to be a new little miniature studio next door to the, the vape studio to record videos for the second channel. I'm in the middle of doing that right now, actually. How are you doing, Brandon? You're a bit late, Brandon. The show's just about to finish. <laughs> How are you doing, Brandon? Anyway, that is it from me, folks. The throat's getting a little bit croaky and I've run out of water as well. I'm too lazy to get more. Mm. Don't forget, <coughs> this coming Thursday, the UK Vape Show is back. Hopefully, I don't have another blackout, but yeah, the UK Vape Show will be back this Thursday. I think we're doing the recurve dual build-off during this Thursday show, so that should be fun. No doubt Mark will win again, but uh, yeah, we're doing the recurve dual build this Thursday. That is it from me, and yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.